Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm the Temeister and welcome back to Aubrey City. It is now episode 16 of the series and in today's episode we are going to be working on some detailing in the downtown area. Um, first off, what you're seeing right now is, as I mentioned in my last video, I tried to... Uh, I did a little bit of experimentation with uh, a neat idea that I had, which is parallel parking spots. Um, I haven't seen anybody do them so far, so I, sh I thought I would just give them a try. And also, as I mentioned in my last episode, uh, this project was a little bit of a failure and you guys are going to see how in just a couple minutes here. So I just wanted to show you guys how this little project transpired, uh, how everything was put into place and why it was sort of a failure. And I also want to know your guys' opinion on it. Uh, do you think I should keep it? Do you think I should never mind about this uh, parallel parking idea? Just let me know in the comments section and uh, worse comes to worse, I'll just rebuild it in one of the future episodes um, because obviously after I was done this uh, little project, I really didn't like the way it turned out so I just never saved. Uh, but it's no big deal, it didn't take me too long to build so it wouldn't be a, a huge deal to, uh, to recreate it. Just to run down how I created these parallel parking spots, it's not too complicated. I just waited until two cars were parked on the side of the road, one behind each other. Um, and I just took the average size of both vehicles, because not all vehicles in the game are the exact size, but I just sort of made a space that was large enough to fit uh, an average size vehicle in the game. And uh, I just based my... Uh, parking spots off of that really simple takes like two minutes to make the only problem I was having is The white lines that I'm using for these spots are a little bit too long for my liking as you can see they're overlapping the sidewalk a little bit Because um, in the game vehicles drive like super close together the lanes are like the exact width of the car uh, So you don't you really don't have an, a lot of room to play with but uh, if you get, you can get everything to sort of fit nicely. Uh, but you're just gonna have that little bit of white paint on the sidewalk, which isn't a huge deal. You barely notice it, anyways. And uh, this is sort of when I start to realize that things aren't gonna work out too well. As you can see here, the vehicles really don't seem to park in an organized fashion. They just fit wherever they want. Um, and at this moment right here, I'm thinking, damn it. <laughs> I mean, it, it was sort of a waste of time. Um, at one point, I kind of laughed and I said, oh, great, it looks super realistic. I mean, people just don't disregard the lines at all. They just park wherever they want. Super realistic. I'm super happy with this. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, let, let me think, or let me know guys in the comments uh, what you think I should do with this. Uh, if you want me to keep it or get rid of it. I just thought it was a fun little idea. Adds a little bit of uh, character to the downtown streets just so they're not barren and the, uh, the parking spots actually serve a purpose. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, it didn't really work out that way.
so what you just witnessed me build was just a plain old abandoned lot. Um, I didn't really have any buildings or anything in mind that I wanted to fit in that location. It's sort of narrow, so I figured I would just build uh, just a plain old abandoned lot where um, there's a bunch of junk and stuff. And I really like the water and dirt textures that I placed in there. That's kind of something I never used before and I experimented a little bit with in that little area. And I love the look of it. It just looks all dirty and grimy and that's uh, that's kind of what I was looking for. So I'm pretty happy with the results of that. So moving on now, uh, what I'm building right now is uh, sort of an older style hotel. Uh, maybe like a three and a half, four star hotel in uh, downtown Aubrey. So, I mean, it's not your best choice, but if you're looking for something cheap, this is, uh, this is your place. So I combined a few older buildings together in a previous episode, and I'm just gonna detail that area now. So I'm gonna add some parking, uh, parking gates and uh, some little curbs and stuff just to, to detail it a little bit. I'm also gonna create a nice entrance for the office building on the right. Alright guys, so I'm going to stay silent for the next few minutes, so enjoy some music while I plop down some props and different things, and uh, I'll see you in a couple minutes.
right guys, so we finished detailing the hotel um, block, if you will, and uh, a few little other things in the, the vicinity. So what I'm working on now is I want to create this sort of old style building district uh, along this avenue here. Uh, so I'm going to be plopping down some late 1800s style older skyscrapers, um, what was considered skyscrapers back in the day. So uh, we're going to work on that a little bit, a little bit of expansion here, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, detail that in a later episode. Uh, also, I've been thinking in the series, to prevent it from getting a little bit bland, a little bit boring, uh, I'd like you guys to have more say into what goes into Aubrey City. So at the end of each episode, what I want to do is uh, give you guys a few options, what I should build in different districts. Um, you'll, you'll see at the end of the video what I mean, but uh, I just want the the process of, of developing uh, Aubrey City to be as immersive as possible and, and to be as entertaining as possible for you guys. And uh, I'm trying my best to, to bring you the best content that I can. And I think the best way to do that is to interact with you guys as much as possible. So uh, to let you guys decide as much as possible what goes into Aubrey City. In, uh, in, in various episodes. So the city block that we're working on right now is one of the most important ones in the city. Uh, it houses one of the tallest buildings in downtown. Uh, a lot of businesses are located here. It's right in the heart of the central business district. Um, so I wanted to make it as grand as possible, as, as luxurious as possible, just to represent that Hey, this is a really big business that we got going here, right in the heart of uh, Aubrey City. So I will be uh, heavily detailing this area. I'm going to be adding lots of props, fountains, uh, detailing the sidewalks. Here I kind of screwed up because I deleted one of the, uh, the buildings. And I keep forgetting to turn off the, uh, the building flattening there every time I plop a building. So I have to start over. Okay, so... What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to combine this tall skyscraper here with other buildings because I think the front of it looks really boring and bland. Uh, so I'm just trying to spice it up a little bit. And the vanilla mall that's in the game actually combines itself really nicely with this building and I'm sure that it's possible to combine it with other buildings very nicely. Um, for a vanilla building in the game, I think it's, it's one of the nicer ones. Uh, there's lots of detail to it. So uh, I thought it was a perfect fit for this building. The only problem now is the back is really boring. Um, so I have to add a little bit of character to that as well. And uh, this building right here, which is um, with the Rico mod, uh, I decided it was a perfect fit for the back of the building. The only problem with it is because the downtown is on a slant, and that building is so large it would screw up the terrain as you just saw there for a split second and I wasn't able to locate it in a, in a specific area that it wouldn't affect the terrain on the other side of the building it would just sort of screw everything up and you know it it was just gonna cause problems with all the uh, the sidewalk uh, details and everything that I was gonna add a little later on so I opted for a little bit of a smaller building. I think it's actually a vanilla building that I decided to, that I decided to plop. And uh, it actually fits quite nicely. So as you can see here, this is the particular building that I chose. And uh, it helps to fill in this sort of empty space we got here. And uh, I'm going to prop it up real nice so it's going to fill in that empty space even more. Uh, I'm going to add lots of benches and fountains and stuff you'll see in, in just a second. And uh, it really brings the life to this district. It, it really shows that, um, I guess it's more of like a, a high-end uh, business location. So uh, I'm just going through here seeing which uh, sidewalk texture I was going to use. And I opted for this one that you see right here. And as you can see here, the Move It tool is an absolute must in the modding community. It's uh, one of the best tools that there is out there. Um, I mean, it just saves so much time. Imagine trying to plop these uh, these textures one by one. 
it, it just makes building everything so much easier. Alright, so we're moving along here and uh, I'm just checking out what everything looks like at night and there's these floodlights that are included with the building and I can't move them so I think what I decide to do is just to plop something over it just to hide that little nib that's on the ground but I think the light still sort of shines through um, but anyways it's not uh, too concerning um, also I hope you guys like my choice of music when I started this channel I really wasn't sure what kind of music I wanted to include in my videos and that's when I stumbled upon electro swing and just regular old swing and I really love the way that it it, it sort of 
uh, incorporates it into the series. It goes really well with the feeling of Aubrey City. So uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, with the <laughs> with fuck. So I'm just about done detailing the prestigious uh, city block, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. How do you like it? Leave me a comment below what you think of it. Uh, if there's any improvements that I should do in the future uh, when developing these large city blocks or, or open areas within the downtown area. Uh, so share those thoughts with me, guys. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll, I'll try to incorporate your ideas in future episodes. Uh, but I mean, I, in my opinion, I think this area looks absolutely fantastic. It just brought the life out of the district. It looks like this area is is going to be busy. You know, there's going to be a lot of people walking around. There's lots of stuff to do. Um, so it's uh, it's a pretty special place in Aubrey City. It's uh, I guess you could say that it's probably one of the richer sections of town. And uh, right across the street here, we're working on the hotel district again. Uh, well, the hotel block, rather. And this is sort of the front end where you would park your vehicle and unload your baggage. So anyways, we're almost to the end of this episode, and I pretty much covered everything that I wanted to. Uh, it may seem like we didn't get too far in this episode, but once you get into detailing at this level, uh, it really takes quite a bit of time to get any progress done or it seems like you don't get as far just because it's so time consuming but uh, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, what we've done in this episode uh, I'm really excited for the next episode um, I'm gonna start to organize uh, the channel layout a little bit more just to maybe communicate to you guys a little bit better what we're gonna be doing in the future episodes and uh, a lot of people, like myself, are a little bit more visual, so I decided to create these little diagrams to represent uh, what we're doing in the next episode. So here it is. Uh, in episode 17, we're going to focus a little bit more on this uh, particular um, residential section in the northern part of downtown. Or eastern, sorry, I get my bearings messed up. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. I'm super excited to get started on that because it's going to be quite interesting. So with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please leave me any comments down below if you have any suggestions or tips. And as usual, guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel for much more content on the way. And until the next episode, please take care.